What's going on, everybody? This is The Burn Down, the only podcast that brings cigar conversations to the internet audience. Boom. Boom. Today's episode, we're going to talk about our favorite music genres while we smoke a cigar, as well as our favorite, what do you want to call them? High-end cigars, big boy cigars, any cigars over $25, our favorite ones to smoke. So if you're into that sort of stuff, stay tuned. It's The Burn Down. It's The Burn Down. It's the burn down. I'm Eric. I'm Justin. This is where we spark it up. Talk it out. Burn it down, baby. Boom. Boom. I think that's our little trademark. That we I got love here. it. Dude, I think- episode five. Can you believe it's been five already? Five. I can count how many episodes we have on one hand. I know. This is a big deal. Can't wait till I got to start using my toes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, so... We got we, something special. Yeah, man. We got a... Uh, what are we smoking? That's a real question. We, you know, this is our, our ritual. That's what we do. We spark it up. We cut it up. This is a Rocky Patel Old World Reserve. Yeah, man. So you remember how we got these? We met the man himself. Met the man himself. Rocky Patel. Great guy. Cool as shit. It was awesome. Him and I went to Cigar Fest, and which, side note, if you haven't been, go. It's fantastic. Absolutely. freaking lutely. You have to go. So him and I went to Cigar Fest this year. Uh, it's in the Poconos. Always a good time. And we met Rocky Patel. He's always there. He was behind his booth. And uh, he was having this sale that he said, hey, listen. Uh, he didn't have a sale. He was having a competition with another cigar yeah. company. He wouldn't, he wouldn't tell us who it was, but he wanted to sell boxes like crazy. So he was selling his boxes for like half off. It was like more. It was 60% <laughs> off the boxes. And he's like, hey, if you buy a box, we'll sign it. So I'm like, well, shit, I'm going to buy a box then. Hell yeah. And he was cool as shit because we went to the back and he goes, hey, we were counting around all the all the stuff oh, yeah. and he's like hey yeah. why don't you just put that stuff behind our booth come have some scotch with me he's a big scotch guy so I'm like shit alright yeah he used gonna... a lighter torching up his cigar yeah, well he was running around all over the place trying to sign this sign that and I go whoa, whoa, whoa wait wait stop stop what you're doing Rocky you gotta light up your cigar right now he goes oh thank god so I gave him a light gave him a cut and lit it up anyway he signed the box this is what we're smoking Rocky Patel Old War Reserve and we're drinking some red wine today actually Vino, baby. Vino. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're drinking some red wine because we're actually about to have dinner after this episode. So we figured, sure, we're just going to drink some red wine. Get in so, the mood. Set it straight. So what we got is, uh, it's Luigi Bosca. Uh, Luigi. a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a Cab Sav from 2016. Uh, wine of Argentina. I'm a big red wine guy. I don't really drink uh, white wine. You know, I love red wine. It's great. Do you like white wine? I do. You do? But I don't drink it that often. Yeah. I, uh, a I too fruity. I kind of stick with just the red. And uh, my favorite's the Chianti. So it says um, <clears throat> this Cab Sav is part of the Ar- Arizu, Arizu Family Wine Reserve Vineyards uh, Finca El Paris, Paraiso, Maipu. My Spanish is a little rusty. Uh, province of Como Mendoza. Como se llama? It rests 12 months in French oak casks. Pretty cool. So, uh, we're going to like... Well, you already lit it up. You didn't even tell him the best part. We got these boxes signed by Rocky P himself. I did tell him that, man. And he's like, hey, if you buy a box, we'll sign it. Oh, you did? I did. I'm sorry. I missed that. Pay attention, bro. I know, I, I, I forgive you. Too, you. The cigar is very important. I was focused on lighting this bad boy up. You cut it for me, bro? I said allow me, and I took it out right out of your hand. Yo, I love it, man. I got you. I got you. I don't know what that was. That was awkward. Let's do it again. Don't! Ah, shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. God damn it. We can't even do our own handshake on camera. Dude. I kind of forgot. Sorry. Nailed it. Boom. There we go. Only took us a couple of times. All right. Now we can get back on track. <laughs> I felt like an idiot. That was that was my fault. I'm sorry. It's all good. I was put under pressure on camera. Were you doing the handshake? I, I blacked out. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so what are we talking about today, man? <sighs> you know, I wanted to talk about 
at least for me, I don't know what you want to talk about, but the music that we like to listen to, ah. or I, I like to listen to when we smoke a cigar. I have all I different it. kinds of moods. I like all different kinds of music. I like it. I like all different kinds of mu. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Music. Um, I like all different kind of music. I'm trying to say music and moods at the same time. <laughs> and different moods. So, um, I mean, something I know we can agree on is obviously the classic oldies. Frank Sinatra. Oh Francis Albert. Blue Eyes. That's a Louis given. Louis Prima. Louis Prima. Tony Bennett. Dean. Dean Martin. Dino Spumoni. I mean, Dude. there's nothing more relaxing. Oh, strong. All- oh. Louis Armstrong, you kidding me? Come on, what about Frankie Valley? Well, you like the Four God. Seasons? Frankie. It's a sign. You know what? Still like the Four Felons. You like? Uh, <laughs> it's a great. That's a great movie, by the way. Great play, but I watched the movie. Love I saw it. the play first, then the movie. Great movie as well. Love it. It's a great fucking movie. It's a good fucking movie. Hey, 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 no. hey, hey, Zion. Case but, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I also like listening to like jazz. Yeah. Like Miles Davis. Yeah. Nothing soothes the soul like a nice soothing trumpet. Is that weird? Pause. No, no, it's not, Pause. no I got it. But uh but um you know, he like I, I listen to listen to a lot of jazz when I would study or if I'm trying to really focus. And uh Louis Armstrong is another big one I like. His voice is so deep. Just puts you in the fucking yeah. zone when you're smoking a cigar. Louis got the um, I somewhere. Love you're, that. you're like, oh, that guy's really raspy, but for some reason he's. Like, I see guys. I'm like, oh god, what's that one song that he sings? Um, Red roses too. <laughs> Like every song you want to cry to when there's a slideshow going on, like a Sweet Sixteen. I think or, uh, to myself, that's it. What a wonder! Love it, love it. I mean, Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra are like obviously the classics. Um, What's your favorite Frank Sinatra song? Um, the girl from Impanina. Impanina, oh, yeah, the girl from Empanada. Empanina. Not exp- Empanada is that yeah. a food? Empanada, yeah. I think it's Empanina. Girl from Empanina. And never. Like when I smoke a cigar, that's the, that's it's yeah. It's calm. It's soothing. But you have to have. Um, I think there's a version with just him in it, and there's a version with the Spanish guy, the Spanish singer in it, and you need the one with the Spanish guy. Okay. Soothing. Smoke a cigar. You're like you feel like the man. And nothing more relaxing. If uh, if it's Dean Martin, my favorite. Whoa, lie. Lie. <laughs> Come on, you can't beat that. Oh, yeah. my, my favorite Frank song. Favorite Frank song of all time, or when you're smoking a cigar? Because I feel like there's two different ones for me. Smoking a cigar. I mean, my way is always classic because it's just oh. so. It's such a romantic song, but it's so yeah. soothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, another one. I mean, cheek to cheek is a great one. Mm-hmm. That one, or, I mean, it's tough, because I love, I just love all Frank Sinatra songs. If I had to pick one. It was a very good year. Yeah. Yeah. Reminds me of Sopranos. I got the world on a string. Um, Sitting on a rainbow. I got, like, um, Dean Martin Return to Me. Return to me. Oh my god, we gotta stop saying that because neither one of us. I don't think. I think we gotta like lower the volume or like the pitch on the audio. Because I know. We sound terrible. Oh, but um, I not in the shower. That's for sure. Yeah. No, I sound like a John. What is it? What's it from Step Brothers? You gotta know, I'm not just some guy. Your voice is like a combination of Fergie and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, besides that, I also you know I do like the old like the older oldies. I guess like the seventies. Like the Eagles. Okay. You know, like Hotel California, Witchy Woman. Do you like... Uh, I've been getting into this lately, and I think it might even be because of you, uh, but all the disco music. Oh, yeah. Studio 54. Dude, I, lo- I love the disco. I don't know, I don't know why. We're at Cigar Fest. I was, but, playing, I was playing that one song. Uh, dude, I love it. Or like Earth, Wind, and Fire. Been on an Earth, Wind, and Fire craze, man. I love them. Well, what started was I watched a Netflix... Uh, 
special about Studio 54 in Manhattan and how it was like the mecca of like if you were somebody. Oh, I can't imagine what it would have been like going there on like a Friday or Saturday night. You were the man if you were. You were oh, the woman or the I man. I can't imagine that you what showed it up there. Been. Oh. If you were somebody, you were going there. So um, just to learn the history and just the stuff that went down there, man. Oh my yeah. God. And then, but, and then all of a sudden it just turned me on to like a whole Studio 54 kick. And I was just going crazy. And Love it. It was around the time we went to Cigar Fest in May. I was like the, the climax. Or here's another good word. The zenith. The zenith. The zenith. The, the zenith. I, I don't got one. I can't beat zenith. Man. That's, you know what zenith is? You know yeah, I know, yeah. What it, yeah. I know what it is. I was trying to think of another word to beat it. You like, can't beat it. It's paramount over everything. You I can't beat it. Paramount over everything. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like the zenith of like my Studio 54 kick. And um, that's when I was just... Abusing your ears with all that music. Oh, dude! Should I just play a little something? Right? I'm just gonna hit a quick shuffle and throw, the, throw a little something. I'm just gonna throw a shuffle on, just see what we got here. Oh, hey, hey. get those hey. shoulders moving. Ooh, get mm. down on it. You gotta. Dude, all right, we can't go on a tour. I'm embarrassing myself. Stop! Right. Stop okay. it! I'm embarrassing myself. Oh my God! Are you serious? You can see the face I'm making right now. You got to do that. You got to do the where they do it. Where they go. I guess. Uh, hey. Got to back hey. up. I guess. Are we really? Okay. All right. I apologize. Don't bring that out of me. I know. It's only it. for special occasions. It was gonna. It was about to be real. The we were, we were, I'm about to get real. I was about to break it down. Got to be real. Well, okay. Let's get back to anyway. it. Anyway. So. But. Also. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious now. Not serious, but oh, that my. was hard to come back to. I know, man. Because I want to get back to. I, wanna, I just want to. Yeah, I want to get hey, my shoulders hey. again. <laughs> okay, but uh, anyway, you know the Eagles. Who else do I like? The so like like I said, Witchy Woman, Hotel California. There's a better version of Hotel County California on Spotify. Hotel California, MTV Live, 1993 or four, acoustic. It's just live and the acoustics is fantastic. But um, who else do I like? Billy Joel. Mm. Come on. Our man. He's from Long Island. Long Island. Home. Okay. One of my favorite songs from it's Billy Joel and Tony Bennett. The New York, New York. The theme. Whoa. When Tony Bennett had his 90th birthday party or 90th birthday concert in Madison Square Garden. He came out on stage. I didn't go because it's it was impossible to get tickets. But they have that song. It's live, and Tony Bennett comes out and sings with Billy Joel. Bro. Dude, I saw Billy Joel front row this year. I know, but did you? See, I mean, okay, that's fantastic. But did you see him with Tony Bennett on his 90th birthday? No, but I saw him John Hargitay. Okay. okay, from CCR. Okay, I didn't realize who it was when he brought him out. He's like, ah, John Hargitay. I'm like, Hargitay, Hargitay, whatever. And I'm like, who is this guy? And then he's like, I was like. <laughs> This is the guy. This is him. This is him. He started ripping it. Probably single oh my god! He was playing. Yeah, he played uh, up and around the bend and uh, and um, the, what's the Vietnam song from Forrest Gump? Um, oh, raise the flag. Yeah. Ooh, that red, white, and blue. Yeah. What is that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's, the it's name credence, is. but anyway. But um, so Billy Joel, the Eagles. Who else? I mean, there's so many. I can't even think right now. I'm having a brain fart. Um, like yeah, Peter, that whole, Peter Frampton. So all that all whole era, that, that whole seventies era. That just goes to show you, you can, you can literally listen to anything while you smoke a cigar. Yeah. I mean, you can go anywhere from. I've listened to stuff from the twenties, all the way up to the seventies. I listen to rap and hip hop. Anything. I mean, I'd be interested to hear or to read what everybody else likes to listen to. Like, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite genre that you listen to while you smoke a cigar? Please. Or what? What do you listen to in general? I mean, I'd love to hear all the different musics. I mean, I listen when I'm in the gym. I might listen to some heavy metal stuff. Just have somebody screaming in my ear. And if I'm lifting heavy weights, I mean, I listen to all, all how how heavy though, because you ever seen uh like you listen to like death metal like you know like um no I don't listen to any, any you know like Ace Ventura Pet Detective the first one when he walks into the nightclub and they listen to <laughs> he's like no, this I listen to uh. <laughs> Like that, my brother put a song on it the other day. I'm like, he thought it was hilarious. I'm like, Tyler, who listens to this? And he's like, I don't know. But I mean, I'll just read. I'll just read off my uh, 
my playlist here. I mean, I listen to uh, bands like, I don't know if you're going to recognize, August Burns Red. Nope. Okay, so August Burns Red um, issues. Do I have? Oh, here we go. Uh, Memphis May Fire, Texas in July, The Volumes. No idea. Um, the Word Alive, This or the Apocalypse. I listen to a lot of this. Vela Maya. So I don't know if any of you guys know what this, but yeah. this is some of the... When I was a drummer in high school, um, I listened to a lot of some of this music because the drumming was just very technical and all that stuff. Um, I got to show you an art, uh, artist that my brother put me on to. She's sick. The drummer? She doesn't play the drums. She's a one-man band, but she plays all these instruments. She loops them. Her voice is phenomenal. She's nasty. Really? You'll Not appreciate you'll you appreciate music, so you'll like her. Anyway, that's like some of the but again, it's it's all different. I actually I used to listen to a lot more. Yeah. Um I listen to a lot of I listen to a lot of talks now. Um some motivational talks and podcasts. I listen to and watch the burn down when I smoke a cigar. Yeah, that's a great Those one. Those two studs that uh sit on the chairs and drink and smoke yeah, there. I mean I I especially listen to episode four. I've just put that on a loop and listen to the motivational section of it. If you don't want to, if you don't want to lift, lift heavy, or if you don't want to get the job done, listen to that man. Might as well get the hell out. Yeah. But uh, well, I also, listen to genres for all different. I listen to. I mean, I'm a huge hip hop head, and I mostly like '90s and 2000s. But I listen to a lot of mostly, you know, anything uh, hip hop related that's just like even killed and not slow, but just like calm. So yeah. like a lot of. Like Nas, Nas is a great storyteller. Most mm-hmm. a lot of his songs are just you can just yeah. listen to him yeah, yeah, smoke. Yeah. Um, you know, even like even people like Drake. So go from Nas to Drake because uh, you know he has his whole R and B smoothness that you can listen to. He's like serenading while uh, you're on the bench oh, press. Man. But uh, all kinds of diff- all different '90s hip hop that I love too because that era I think was the golden era hip hop. But um, I listen to it all. I pride myself on listening to all genres of music. I never was really big into country and that was like one genre that really? I, I pride myself on not listening to until this past weekend when I'm, or two weekends ago or whatever mm. it was when I went to Anirondacks my uncle just played country all weekend and it grew on you Blake Shelton is the man some beach somewhere you gotta listen to you gotta listen to a song called um oh it's, it's called I think it's by Luke Bryan. What about Blake Shelton, God's Country? Have you oh, heard yeah, that? Great, yeah, great one. That song no, gets you fired up. Blake Shelton, there's another one. Um, I'll Name the Dogs. Uh, there's this, I forgot how it goes. It goes, you name the kid and I'll name the dogs. I forgot how it goes. Uh, great tune. Great tune. But what's the, the, this other guy? Um, he sings Tennessee Whiskey. I forgot his name. Yeah. Stapleton, James uh, Stapleton? No, Chris Stapleton. Chris Stapleton. Yeah. You're as smooth. I guess I'm singing. Yeah. But yeah, my girlfriend loves that. Song. So now I'm kind of getting in, uh, in that yeah. country. So I like it all. I like the oldies. I like the fifties, the sixties, the seventies, eighties, hip hop, like, and the nineties, like anything. I mean, anything. anything that's got a good country. Yeah, disco. But I, oh, one thing I wanted to ask you. Ask, um, ask me. I'm gonna ask you something. Ask Mary. me, Justin. Can I ask you a question? Depends on what I got an answer for. Penny for your thoughts. Cigar for your thoughts. Would you say a couple episodes ago? Shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, <laughs> hit me, shoot me, hit me, shoot. shoot. Me. Um, so we had talked about uh, a couple episodes ago. We talked about budget-friendly cigars, mm-hmm. you know, the economical cigars, and I yes. think we try to keep it under ten bucks. Let's go on the other side now. Big boy spending. Yeah, we got some luxury cigars, some of the top notch. Thinking, I'm talking like. I mean, anything above, I don't know what we would consider a higher price cigar. Typically, like 25 bucks and up yeah, I, for a single mean. cigar is a little bit more higher priced. Yeah. So what would be some of your cigars that you find or you enjoy that are higher than, 20, say, 25 bucks? 25 bucks. 25 bones. Mm, I like the um, Arto Fuente Opus X Lost City. Oh, mm. God. Lost City. <clears throat> That's that's one of my favorite opuses. Yeah, that's you can't ever go wrong with that bad boy. That's what like thirty, uh, thirty five maybe. I think uh, I think it's like thirty five bucks, something like that. Okay. Um, the LFD. 
can never say it. I always say the Anastasian Bowl. <laughs> Andalusian Bowl. Andalusian Bowl. That's a good one. Um, that that one might good. be right. What is that? Right around twenty five. I thought. Yeah, I thought it was in that. I thought it was in the. Yeah. I thought it was on the higher end of LFD. It's definitely their higher end. I forgot yeah. what the exact price, is, but we could put that up there. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. That was a uh, twenty sixteen cigar of the year, I think, by yeah. uh, Cigar Aficionado. Um, and then it, they became impossible to get because of that. Yeah. So I that's, got that's why. Yeah. Same. <laughs> we got them. But uh, what else? Um, this wine's freaking delicious, by the way. It is. I like the um, the Davidoff uh, Winston Churchill the Late Hour. Yeah, is that up there? I think so. I think the I think I mean, they most are. Davidoffs are are, yeah. are higher end. Like, yeah, you you're thinking Davidoff, Davidoff, Opus, Padron, some of the yeah. higher end Fuentes. Ooh, okay, are. I like the I like the Padron 1945 or 1946. 40, 46. 1946. Which one though? Just the oh, regular. Is it the 40? Don't they have a 45 too? They have a a, a 64, uh, 64, an 80, or 1964, 19. No, the 80th, the number eight is the 80th year. They have an 85, I think. No, they have a number 90. Can't remember. There's a lot of them. There's a 40, 46th year. There's a 90. The 46th year. 85. The 50th is my favorite. The 50th is the best one. I think. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else I have. Um, what about some of the Davidoff? The Chinese New Year ones. I have two of the two of the 2018 year of the dog in my humidor. Ooh. I'm waiting. Courtesy so. of my best good friend Joe. There you go. Good, good Christmas. Shout out to Joe. Shout out to Joe. But I'm waiting. So Davidoff, for all of the newer smokers out there, Davidoff releases a cigar to honor the Chinese New Year. Yeah. In the Chinese calendar, there's 12. It's 12 year cycle. And, oh, I don't think we ever did that, did we? Shit, we have bad luck now. No, we don't. We just started right now. All right, this is the first time we're doing Pause. Cheers. I'll get back on topic. Can I spit it back in? Mm-hmm. Salute. Cheers. Episode five. <laughs> that look you just gave me was... I almost, I almost just spilt the water. That look you just <laughs> gave me, I hope, that, I hope we have that on video because that look you just gave me like... What the fuck <laughs> did you just do? I almost spilled wine all over my shirt. That look was great. <laughs> that, that I look, hope it didn't like, I didn't cover it with the glass. That look just imprinted on my brain. Because all I saw was your eyes looking at me through the, like, just your, like, you remember Al from uh, Home Improvement? He only had his, his nose above the, uh, the fence. Those. You just gave me the eyes and I was like, you just look so disgusted with me. That was hilarious. Give me those, those eyes. Mm. Not in a bad way. Like when your girlfriend's <laughs> pissed at you, like, why did you come home at three o'clock in the morning? You have glitter all over you. That that's the type of look you just that's gave. That's the type of look I gave you. Yeah. Why do you uh, Why do you have glitter all over you? Why are you coming home at three o'clock at night? Uh, I was hanging out with the boys. Sounds like that happened to you, man. Did that That didn't happen to you, did it? I always wash the glitter off me. <laughs> you think I come home smelling like lotion and glitter? No, I'm smarter than that. I uh, I think I got that from like a comedy special. I know. Right? We're just we're joking, obviously. I know that if you're listening to this, you probably were joking. We're joking. We're joking. Just kidding. Love you. Love you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, Davidos. Um, so for all the new people, new smokers out there, or maybe you're an experienced smoker and you haven't heard of this yet, but Davidoff releases a cigar to commemorate the Chinese New Year every year. And the Chinese calendar has a 12-year cycle. So I think they're about seven years in. They have the year of the dog. They have the year of the pig. rooster, year of the pig, right? So I'm waiting... And if Davidoff ever sees this... What are you waiting for? I'm waiting that after the 12 years is up, I'm assuming that they're going to release a sampler pack that has one of every year. Whoa. And I'm going to get my hands on it. No matter what I have to do, I'm going to get it. That's heavy. I don't know if they're going to do it. I never read that they were. But if Davidoff, if you're watching this or you're listening to this... Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Because I think it would sell. They go for about 40 to 50 bucks a pop. There's gonna be twelve of them, so that's like five hundred bucks. About you heard it here first. It's four hundred eighty to six hundred bucks. Burn down. You heard it here first. Year Chinese New Year. Sample Davido, pack. Sample pack. Burn down. Do it. Put it in a nice humidor. Put a nice description of everything. We want a box of it. I want a box of it. We just put it out there. They're gonna yeah, do it. Now. I want two because we each gotta have one. No doubt. Yeah. So I don't even know taste. if I would smoke it though because it'd be such a nice box, <laughs> like a nice shrine. <laughs> it's like the Opus Six box that they have. The Dutchman's Treasure. <laughs> the Dutchman's Treasure. Wow. Padron 50th. 
that's fantastic. Um, I would say uh, there's an Opus. So here's a fantastic one: the Opus X BBMF. What does that stand for? Big bad motherfucker. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I knew that. I just wanted to hear you say Shit. it. Uh, so the Opus X. That that BBMF. whole the whole way it's set up is it's oh, rolled. It's, oh, it's, oh. I, it's, just, I, it's, it's so pretty. Apart. You want to? You don't even want to smoke it. Like, I feel it's like I feel like cutting the top of that is like being like a girl and cutting all her hair off. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's like, it just looks so pretty. You don't want to. You don't want to destroy it. But that one runs you about a hundred bucks. That's a great. Or Davidoff Royal Release. Have you had one of those? No, I have not. Blows your hair back. Blows your hair back. Blow your hair back. That good, huh? It's good. It's fantastic. That's about 110 bucks a stick. Uh, there's a lot of other Davidoffs that are out there that are really yeah. good. You know, um, uh, the Chef's Edition is a good one. That was probably one of my favorite Davidoffs. And I talked about that in a previous episode where how it just changed from third to third. Exploded mm. with flavor. Very complex. We both have smell. the uh, Davidoff. Um, it's not released anymore, but I forgot the name of it. It's the gold wrapper. It, the, it starts with O. Oh. Pure de Oro. There you go, pure de oro. My, that's actually between that and I don't think I'm smoking that chefs. one. I think I'm not smoking that until at least I, I have like my first grandchild or something. Oh, they're great. I have I have a a Churchill in my humidor, and then I have a bunch of Deliciosos, which are the smaller ones. We'll probably smoke. I told you we were going to smoke one of those in a. You do have the future. smaller Delicioso ones. Yeah, we're going to do that in a, pre- in a future episode. I'll break those bad boys out. Heard that future episode of smoking one? Yeah, you're gonna hold me too. I can't. I gotta do it now. It's on camera. It's recorded. But you can't even edit it out because I don't want it because I want to smoke it. Yeah, we're just gonna have to keep talking about it so that there's a long like three minutes of it, and then you can't edit that out. Thank you. Just right. keep like dropping it in there throughout the rest of the podcast. Pure de Oro. Pure de a little tag. Hey, hey Justin, David off. Pure de Oro. <laughs> Pure de Oro. Remember. Um, what other ones? I mean, how I about have a whole humidor full? For a specific reason, just like that, just a humidor with twenty five dollar over cigars, and I can't even think what I have in there. Oh, I have, I have a, um, a Zeno, Zeno I was Just gonna say that, the, yeah, the chubby that I have. Bastard. That's the um, what one is that? The Z Crown, the one that comes in a little blue box. So I have cigars in there that I'm saving for again, like you said, special occasions, getting married, having a kid, um. Reaching a milestone. We just talked about the last episode. Buying a first house. Yeah, things like that. Getting married, maybe. Um, so I have cigars that are sitting in there for that. Like I have Opus Blues that are sitting in there. I have the BBMF that's sitting in there. I have that Zeno that's sitting in there. I have two Padron 50s that are in there. Um, the, the Puro de Oro, that's a Churchill that's sitting in there. Look how nice that is, bro. I know, it's beautiful. You guys can't see that, but when the smoke comes through the top, it just looks so pretty. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. But, uh, gotta get mine. This is my favorite around. Rocky Patel. I think I said this before. I don't smoke this is a lot a really of really good one. I don't smoke a lot of Rocky Patels, but if it's one that I that I need to smoke, it's this old world reserve. So shout out to Rocky P himself for letting me get or hooking me up with a uh, discounted box of these. We got what 20, 25 of these? I think it was a twenty in a box, something like that. And oh Great. yeah, it was twenty of these, plus we got a five sample pack with buying a box. Oh yeah. Plus the free stick that they give you. Bing, bang, boom. Boom. Nice, nice. Dude, but I mean, well, I, I think that's. I don't think, really think there's anything else we wanted to talk about. It was just kind of a quick episode. Yeah, a little shorty, a little nub, a little if shorty, you will. Cigar reference. Nub. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, what we what we talk about? We talked about the music that we like to listen to, a certain expensive, big boy, some big boys, big boy cigars. So, so let's do this. Let's end on this. Talk about some of the big boys, okay? Give three. And it doesn't have to be, like, I know there's more that you want to suggest, but the first three to come to mind, give off three that the user, that are users. The users. The users. Uh, that our listeners and our watchers can go out and, and try. Definitely Opus X, Artoa Fuente, Lost City. 100%. Okay, so that's one. That's one. Now you go. Tip for tat. Pedrol 50th. Deal. Okay. I'll head him back with a Patron 19. I'm pretty sure there's a Patron 1945. It's a it's a 45th anniversary. 45th. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. It's it's they have a series. It's, it's a 19 <clears throat> I think it's 1926 or 1964. Because it's a 1946 series. and then you're right. It's a 45th anniversary. 
it's like a box label and it's yeah. black and red. Padron 19, uh, 45th anniversary, solid, and it's box pressed. Okay, so I'll go with. Um, I don't want to knock my wine over here. So what do we say? So you said the Lost City. Uh, I said Padron 50th. You said the 45th anniversary. I'll say the Davidoff Chefs. Chefs, Davidoff Chefs. Chefs. If you can get it, I mean, there's different years. Uh, when I had it, it was 2015, and it blew my hair back. Knocked my socks off. So Ooh. I would do that one. Now, what's your third? Oh, I thought of it. I thought of it, but I forgot it. Um, it's a My Father. I just had it on the top of my tongue. Garcia, Garcia. Was it the Garcia, Garcia, or was it the My Father? Yeah, Garcia, Garcia. It had to be. If it's above 40 bucks, or both, yeah, it's probably that one. Yeah. My Father, Garcia, Garcia. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. We didn't even talk about that. I, I like know. that one. That, okay. just came, that just came to me. All right. So now I got to go with one. All right. Come so, on. I went out of left field. Right out of left field? Right out of left field. Come on. Something that's going to be up there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I was gonna go with ding ding. I would ding. I would say the Zeno. Nothing wrong with that. I'd say that Zeno Z Crown the Chubby. It was a pl- is a plat a Zeno Platinum? The Zeno Platinum, right? It's a Z Crown series. Uh, it's I'd say that one. Bing bang boom. Yeah. Three, I mean, high end. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with those three. So I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go with the uh, Padron 50th, the Chef Special, and the Zeno. Those are three top top of the line cigars that I would recommend you try um, if you if you can afford it. If you want to splurge a little bit, or you want to send one to us, I'll be happy or with that know, too. If, if you want, if you don't really want to smoke them, yeah, I'll smoke it. <laughs> we'll smoke them on here for you. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I want these guys to review a cigar. I'm gonna buy them one. But uh, yeah, that's about it. I wanted to keep it a little short today, half hour or so. Um, all I'm thinking about now is seeing, trying to find another one out of left field. You're going to think about it as soon as we cut the camera. Yeah, I mean, we talk, any, any one of those that we just... If you guys have a good recommendation, yes. $25 or over, cigars that you like to smoke or that you think is worth smoking during a special occasion, please, please let us know. Drop a comment. Drop a comment. Drop- While you're at it, smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button. Oh my God, yeah. But if you want to take it another step further, share this bitch. Share it. That's all That's all I like. I like when people share us just because just putting it out there and just for other people to see. Yeah. And ultimately, <laughs> that means that the people that are sharing it like what we put out. And that's all we ask for. If you like, if you like what we're doing, if you like what we talk about, if you like the content that we put out, um, just let us know or even, like I said, just share it. And uh, it... It goes a long way for us, and we truly appreciate it. So, again, Burn Down Podcast on Instagram. Facebook is still in the works. It's there. So if you like the Burn Down Podcast, please do. Dapper Cigar. Brother Cigar on Instagram. The Dapper Cigar. Burndown.mail at Gmail for any recommendations, any topics that you want us to cover. We'll be happy to. Um, yeah. It wasn't, wasn't the one we did. Yeah, the, the wasn't the one recommendation what we just talked about the top expensive cigars was that what a recommendation talk- for some someone or no? What are you talking about the the, uh, the, the high end cigars that we like to buy? Remember we did cheap. Now we, we talked about high yeah. end cigars. Was that a recommendation or no? Yeah, I would I would I would recommend those to anybody. No, uh, no, was that a recommendation someone sent to us? Wasn't that someone? Oh, DMS? oh, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody had asked. Still thinking about that cigar, huh? In I know, field. I'm sorry. Uh, I was actually thinking about making sure I had some wine in here because we're going to do our send off. But it was the somebody had, had asked us to do suggested cigars in different price ranges. Price ranges, so ten dollars or less, ten to twenty, twenty yeah. and up. Um, and I had just thought about why don't we just do, since we did budget friendly last one or two episodes ago, why don't we just yeah. do higher end? And in our episode, we'll get really in depth about it. We'll give yeah. us like we'll give everyone like five. Cigars ten dollars and under, eleven dollars to I don't know sixteen and yeah, whatever, 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 it is, whatever it is. But we'll figure it out. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Absolutely. Thank you guys for listening. We're gonna finish our smokes. We're gonna top off our wine. And we're gonna have some dinner. God bless. Cheers. Thank you, everybody. Salud.